Hey, welcome everyone and welcome to a new episode of uh, Data Trend uh, uh, playlist. Well, uh, this is my YouTube channel Lazy Yogis and uh, I make a lot of videos about different uh, subjects. For example, like uh, ChatGPT, Scrum, Global Supply Chain, Data Trends 2022-23. Means there are a kind of a lot of different type of videos that I make and I share. I try to share my knowledge to the users that they seek knowledge. So uh, to, in today's video, we'll be learning how to create a star schema. In, uh, in, in, in for database storage as well as reporting querying fast faster query and uh, other things so in the today's video i will be showcasing in live how to create a star schema well uh, it is not a difficult uh, uh, query that i am going to write but then one should know that uh, how this how this how the how the queries are written and in what chronology those are written well, uh, star schema is nothing but uh, a a design or a data a data architecture of storing data in a database <coughs> to <coughs> excuse me to uh, retrieve data uh, for reporting as well as a faster query. Well, uh, uh, star schema has nothing to do with uh, transformation steps. It is uh, so people to, shouldn't be confused about data transformation and data storage and where to use what uh, so so please be mindful about the usage of star schema star schema is a data from data storage point of view it is uh, it is being used and in the star schema we have fact table and the dimension tables uh, fact tables well if i will open uh, just a minute, let me show a design of star schema in google so that The viewers have a kind of ID what they are, uh, what I am talking about. So as you can see, this is a kind of a typical design of a star schema where the fact table, which is a transaction table for an application, is in the middle and all the dimensions are, are, are at the edges of the star. Uh, this this type of design is used to uh, re reduce the redundancy of the column names as well as to make the queries faster and also to avoid duplicates as you guys have already know means i think you already know about the normalized form and denormalized form the concepts of normalization and denormalization well this video is not about that please refer to my other videos about uh, learning 1nf 2nf and 3nf <clears throat> also in google uh, one can find the typical difference between uh, the normalized forms in dbms and uh, uh, that is how i also learn uh, by uh, googling uh, different data concepts okay let's dive into the coding part uh, well these are my small notes uh, for uh, creating a primary key and a foreign key i will be using that uh, in the code so okay i will be using the sql code not python so this is sql server studio management where uh, i write all my code this is a sample database that i have opened so what I will be doing, um, step one is creating a custom, creating uh, dimension tables, tables like uh, I will keep it simple, customer, uh, order, and and product. Then step two is creating a transaction, a transaction or a fact table which has reference to customer id customer id order id and product product id in that way uh, so here uh, in the fact table the foreign keys will be stored and whereas in uh, in the dimension table the primary keys will be stored <coughs> okay let's begin because i want to keep the video also short so i will start with create table customer and with a bracket start so i will keep uh, like uh, mm, customer id it is int column then customer uh, name that is in var car uh, 60 i will give the space 60 and uh, customer 
city and I will copy paste this one I will paste it here let me give a commas so that I wouldn't have any error then I have to declare the primary key and so that is why I have my notes here because sometimes I forget the syntax and here I will put the customer ID as the primary key so this is how you create a fact table sorry a dimension table let me copy paste and then I will put a semicolon to end the query let me create the product and here uh, product fact at a dimension table and product ID then let me also create a product name and uh, also product value in this way I have the reference I have also created a primary key and this way this one will be int this column okay product and dimension table is ready and then the order okay uh, order and here it will be order ID and order name and <coughs> order va order value or let me rename it as order amount product <coughs> amount maybe I can directly create I don't have to create any order table uh, I think customer and product are sufficient let me keep it simple and uh, let me delete the product uh, sorry the order uh, reference I think order is not needed order is not needed okay so customer now it's time to create a uh, fact table create table uh, transactions where the start then I will give reference of customer ID here which will be INT I will give reference of product ID here which is INT and uh, comma here comma here then uh, 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 quantity this data will be coming from the application itself INT and then product amount that is INT with this then and quantity is stored I don't need to store uh, the product amount it will because it will be redundant then now let me give a reference of uh, primary key and secondary keys I will close it and uh, foreign key I will be declaring it like this foreign key customer ID and a reference to customer and customer ID okay this is done then uh, then foreign okay product ID the reference to product table and I will be putting the product ID here so my uh, transaction table is also ready so this is how I gave reference so these are the this is the fact table and these are the reference of dimension table then uh, then inserting so then then with the help of azure or uh, there are other different application available for creating the transformation steps easily so i will insert a data in customer table i will insert the data re relevant data in the product table then i will use the left join to insert the data here uh, by, by 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 giving this or by sorry by giving this as a uh, left join uh, matching uh, ids and then uh, the data will be populated here uh, here as you can see only the customer ID is referenced uh, while uh, the, the other, other other columns are not needed to be here here in the reporting part I can directly uh, do a lookup and bring in the product amount and customer city information in this transaction table so to avoid redundancy and to query faster that is why we use the star schema so this is it guys and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, everyone learned how to create a star schema the next level is to create a galaxy schema as well as uh, the snowflake schemas but that will be a separate video okay have a nice day guys and we'll see each other in the next video